It's finally here. The one change that Jets have asked for years. Strikeforce Showdown now actually has a boost node. For those of you who don't know, Strikeforce Showdown is the passive that triggers with 10% chance during your hurricane attack. And before that, it just did a flat amount of damage. It still did a good, a good chunk of your damage, but you couldn't boost it. And now you can. Some tablecloth maths, this is about, I'd say, 50-60% extra damage during bossing for this skill. Which, considering this wasn't the best skill, because there's a bug that Starline 1 and Starline 2 uh, boost nodes, both boost Starline 2. Uh, this is about 50, 40 something percent extra damage. Uh, other jets can can do the maths, they've done battle analysis and all of that. I'm not strong enough to even qualify to do something like that, especially since I haven't played in so long. But it's finally here. Now, what does this mean? It means Jet's about as good as a Corsair, thereabout, in terms of damage, which is not over the top, but it's definitely better than where the class was, especially for a class that doesn't have any any party buffs or anything like that. Now, while everyone is gushing over the fact that their new 5th job skill looks really cool, it's really good, it does a good amount of damage, the biggest, the most amazing change is actually this extra boost node. No matter how good the fifth job skill was, this is what enables everything. People who don't play Jet kind of overlooked it. Well, this also means that a lot of Jets had the bug nodes uh, and they kind of forgot about Star, Star Force Salvo and now they need to redo their nodes. Yeah. We, we all kind of knew that was going to happen at some point, right? Another big change is they actually fixed the turret formula. It can actually crit now. It's been bugged for a long, long time. Uh, I know some people use this for, for mobbing because they boost it and they have a, a ton of range and they can deal with it. But they actually fixed the, the formula and this actually does some damage now. It only hits one target, but it attacks faster too. It doesn't sh sh say that in the. It doesn't say that in the patch notes, but it does attack faster. Now, for those of you who are wondering, I don't plan on playing Maple Story again. I just wanted to make this video and because I've kind of said a lot of bad things about Nexon and what they should do, and I'm very pleasantly surprised by what they did, and I think that they deserve credit where credit is due. Uh, they might have botched Kana. Uh, their summons don't seem to be doing the damage that they should. Their new fifth job doesn't seem that amazing. But let's face it, Kana has been the best class in the game for years. Uh, so besides all the people who actually play, the, play it, no one's really upset about that. Now, they do need to fix some things with Beast Tamer, but that's a whole nother issue. And I don't play enough Beast Tamer to know what their issues are. But Credit where credit is due, Jet is actually a viable class now. I expect to see a lot of bandwagon ink. Uh, I've seen the Jet Discord a lot more active with people who never showed up there. And it's actually good that people are starting to uh, wanting to try the class. It makes me happy. <laughs> That's all I've got to say. So as I'm recording this, I realized that the Birdman himself actually made a video of the screenshots he posted. So instead of putting the screenshots of his battle analysis before and after, I'm actually going to link his video in the description if you want to check out how much damage increased the Star Force and the new fifth job skill and turret doing more damage. All that combined, how much extra damage he's actually doing. Oh, and another change that I forgot that I saw while watching the video is that they changed the um, the skill delay on Singularity Strike, uh, Singularity Shock, so you can actually use the skill and start moving right away. Uh, usually, before this was a death sentence, and if you use this, you would die. But now it's actually viable to boost it and use it during your bossing rotation. 
so yeah be sure to check his video in the description so about the thing that some people have asked me if i'm going to play maple story no in its current iteration gms i don't want to play it uh, the only reason i would play maple story would be to make content for it because i actually enjoy making content for maple story but i don't think there's any content that i want to make for the game I had a whole video planned out where I was going to talk about if you should play MapleStory, about the community, about the players, about the RNG, about everything, uh, even about KMS, since I played a little bit of KMS, and I was going to talk about the differences, how the game was better there, how it didn't have as much server issues. So if I were to play the game, I would play on KMS, but since they're canceling neighbor support, that's no longer an option, so I don't want to have anything to do with GMS in its current iteration, unfortunately. Alright, so thanks everyone for watching, thanks for everyone for your support. I know there's a lot of people who would like me to play the game again, and I hope I explained why I don't plan on doing so. So, yeah, later. <laughs>